Israel's military carried out at least two airstrikes on the southern suburbs of Beirut shortly after a military spokesman warned people to evacuate the area. The Saturday afternoon airstrike shook parts of the area known as Dahia and caused a thick smoke of dust. The strikes came after a brief lull in airstrikes on the heavily populated area that is home to offices of Lebanon's Hezbollah group. The strikes came hours after the Israeli government said a drone targeted the prime minister's house, though there were no casualties. Hezbollah did not claim responsibility for the drone attack on Benjamin Netanyahu's house but issued several statements saying it carried out several rocket attacks on northern and central Israel. A Hezbollah drone attacked the private residence of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in the city of Caesarea. He was not there at the time of the strike, and no one was hurt. This was reported by the Israeli Prime Minister's office, the Times of Israel reports. The Prime Minister and his wife were not there, and there were no casualties as a result of the incident, the statement reads. Earlier, three drones were launched from Lebanon towards Israel. Two of them were intercepted, and the third crashed into a building in Caesarea. Sources of the Sky News Arabia TV channel reported that a bomb exploded in Netanyahu's home in Caesarea. At the time of the attack, an air raid siren was sounding in the city. A drone was spotted in the sky over Caesarea, chasing an Israeli helicopter. The strikes came as Iran's supreme leader vowed that Hamas would continue its fight against Israel following the killing of the mastermind of last year's deadly October 7 attack. In September, Yemen's Houthi rebels launched a ballistic missile toward Ben Gurion airport when Netanyahu's plane was landing. The missile was intercepted. Last strikes into Israel come as its war with Lebanon's Hezbollah, a Hamas ally backed by Iran, has intensified in recent weeks. Hezbollah said that it planned to launch a new phase of fighting by sending more guided missiles and exploding drones into Israel. The militant group's longtime leader, Hassan Nasrallah, was killed in an Israeli airstrike in late September, and Israel sent ground troops into Lebanon earlier in October.